this model wanted a black and white photo and in one click I'm done. All right, so we'll drive around some of these presets, stick around to the end, and I'll show you in detail how I went about creating these presets so you can create your own. Don't forget to check the link in the description if you want up to 20% off Evoto AI. Use my code in the description. Let's get going. All right, so this is why I'm here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the button here. This model wanted a black and white photo, and in one click, I'm done oh wait a minute okay so it didn't quite get this right here maybe two clicks okay so you do have uh the spot healing the patch and the clone stamp tool that you can you know use manually if you want to i'm going to use my mouse here i'm usually uh, i'm used to using uh a pen and tablet but just like that okay so maybe three clicks i lied little white lie guys um but still look at this immaculate and for most of the edit I did in one click, right? So I'll hit okay. And that shot is done. If I wanted to then had multiple shots in this series, I could this edit with the preset that I just did. I could sync that edit across a hundred of them. If I wanted to go get a coffee, come back and I'm done. That's the power um, of Evoto. Let's look at, I did this shoot recently. It came out really nice. Um, so let's do, say this one and i want you to notice let's see if we can see we can't really see the re let's see the yeah here we can see uh that some retouching is going to be necessary right on the face uh so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to hit my preset again which does a combination i call it combo retouch background black and white uh, but i have another one that does the same thing below it which doesn't do the black and white it keeps it in color right um, so let's do the black and white. That's what she wanted. It's retouching the skin. It's cleaning up the background where I goofed a little bit, right? Got off the side there. And then it's uh, changing it to black and white, okay? It's also doing some basic color adjustments as well for um, exposure and, and that kind of thing. But let's go ahead and try the, the black and white one. Click, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Boom, we are done. If I feel like she's leaning a little bit, you know, obviously we can come to the crop tool right here and kind of straighten that out a little bit, right? Just like that. Maybe bring her down. And just like that, we are done. With that one, you zoom in and the retouching to the face is done as well. So really cool. So what I've done is created several of my own presets in Evoto just to combine um, not just the color adjustments you're used to. This is just like you would see in Camera Raw or Lightroom. Same type of stuff here, right? Um, exposure, brightness, highlights, contrast, tint, white balance, all that stuff. Masks are in there. You can do radial gradients, circular gradients. They're all in there. Um, so next you have the portrait retouching and this is where the magic is, right? And you can do the freckles and acne and clean up the face. I want you to notice though... When I did this, let's look at the before and after. Let's see, there's the before. And we've got some clothing wrinkles too down the backside and right there that I would probably want to do the liquify tool, which you have one here right up here at the top. There's a liquify tool where you can manually do stuff. But see that? Watch the before. You see the wrinkles are a little more apparent. Let's zoom in. Boom, there's before, there's after. Didn't quite get them all, but there's a clothing adjustments panel. And you can deblemish clothing, which I call the lint remover, which is real cool. She didn't have any lint, which is amazing for having a black outfit, right? But clothe edge smoothing only had it at 61. So did you see that? Now it's, a, it's smoothed out all these little edge wrinkles right for me, which is pretty nice. It got this down here for me. So when you zoom out, now it's a little less evident that she has the wrinkles, right? So that's a really cool feature that I also included in the preset. I just didn't have it bumped up to 100, right? Let's go to something that maybe looks a little, could be a little more complicated. Uh, let's see what we can do with this one. I'm not going to do black and white now. I'm just going to do a combo retouch plus black and white. Let's see what it does. One click, boom, we're done. I would probably want to, you know, center her a little bit. And this did it on, it's really meant for, you know, a solid uh, backdrop. 
these cleanup tools so you can see it actually kind of kept it solid but we've got a little bit of texture still that it kept so that's pretty cool if you've got you know this backdrop around the edges it was just a uh, solid green anyway with a little bit of texture so i'm fine with that right if i wanted to maybe i could come over here and use a clone stamp tool and try to you know clone stamp some of this stuff and bring some of it back over here if i wanted to so i can come over here and i could bring more of this over to the sides if i wanted to right trying not to get repetition so you could do a little manual work if you wanted to you have um, those options i've basically i've retouched her eyes i mean she's almost perfect the way she was there wasn't a lot of retouching to do um, what about the wrinkles here let's go to the clothing and let's go to the de-wrinkle you see these wrinkles down here let's fix that real quick and i could include this in my preset i just didn't have it in this particular preset so we bring that all the way over and we've gotten rid of most of those wrinkles if i if this one little line right here or here bothered me i could come over and do some manual work it's really not bothering me that much i'm not that um, particular but i could come over here and kind of do that and maybe get this line here i could do that one and it's going to get rid of, you know, I can manually get rid of them too if it doesn't do as good a job as I had hoped and didn't get all of them. But for the most part, we got all of those wrinkles, right? I could build that into my preset as well. I just didn't have it. Well, this is a cool shot. I can just do it in one click with the black and white like she likes it. And boom, we're done. One click at it. Okay. So how did I create these presets? Um, let's go back to, say, this one. Um, there we go there's the after so i'm gonna click on this right here which is the undo and i have the options by the way to undo the portrait effects and the color effects that's what you need to realize um, you have separate color effects which is this camera raw type window and then your portrait effects are your ai retouching okay and so that's when i'm creating say a, a preset i'm separating those out so say color adjust only what is that I'm going to hit that and that's doing some basic adjustments so let's just say um, i went in and i uh, let's go to the color adjustment tab and i went in and i did some basic adjustments you can see them here highlights were popped the shadows were popped i brought the black down a little bit and i messed with some of those parametric curves in here to pop those highlights a little bit and the thing is with the color adjust only you have this slider remember you can bring it back if it's a little bit too much really cool um, if there's any color grading, uh, you know, you can put all of that in there. And then when I'm done creating the preset the way I want to, I can come down here and I just hit save preset. And very important, this is the name I gave it, color adjust only, right? And it's just, you'll have the option to set, hey, is this a color adjustment? Is it a portrait retouching? I can hit multiple ones um, right here. They're grayed out because all I did was color adjustment. So this is going to be... Um, a color adjustment only and you can see right here in the preset that it says color and that's what gives you the the hint if you look at say some of these other ones they say combination because I'm doing a combination of say different things in this panel over here background retouching portrait retouching I may be doing some color adjust probably not with those because I like to here's how I like to use this color adjust if I have a shoot and I switch up the lighting I can apply the color adjust to say the first 10 shots in that set and then when I switched up the lighting I can then go apply the color adjust to those 10 shots and adjust it as needed so um, you're, you're saving a little bit of time there just by doing the color adjustment only and then coming back later with a preset on top of that like say skin retouch only you see it just says portrait because all I'm doing with that I'm going to undo uh, my all my edits here with the skin retouch only, which is one I created, um, you do that, and all it's doing is uh, cleaning up the skin. So there's before and there's after, right? But it didn't do anything to the color. It's just by itself. So let me undo that. So maybe if I wanted to do uh, select 10 photos and do the color adjust, I would do that first, right? Get that the way I want it. And then I'd come in here and I'd do the skin retouch, and that does retains the color adjust and also adjust the skin so there's your before and there's your after okay and if i wanted to just see the portrait retouching i could go back to the color panel and hit this real-time color adjustments there's the portrait so it's a little bit too much right but just for the sake of example okay 
So that doesn't include the background retouching. So what I would do once I get my portrait retouching the way that I wanted, I would do save preset and I could save. See, now it's giving me different options and this would just be um, a portrait retouching right here, right? Deselect the others and now I have skin retouch only. It's just going to do the skin so that I'm able to layer the color adjustment preset and then layer the skin retouch preset on top of that, right? Now, if I just wanted to combine them all together in one preset, I can. And that's what I've done up here, uh, say with the combo retouch plus background. So I'm doing the retouching on the skin and I'm cleaning up the background, which is one click. So very cool. If I wanted to, here's another one, it's the same thing, but I added B&W to the preset, right? So what I would do is go in and where's the B&W? Well, I would go to the, let's undo that, to this combo retouch where I cleaned up the background and go, well, what if I want the same thing, but I want a black and white version? So I come over here to the color panel and the profile right here is standard. I'm going to change the profile to black and white. And then I'm going to, there it goes. It does a really good, I like it's black and white. Uh, then what I would want to do is save this here's your, as a new preset and I would call it, the other one was called Combo Retouch BG, and then I added B&W on the end, and I just hit Save as New, right? And that creates my presets. Now, let me do, I'll do a Save as New. I'm going to call it Test. For the sake of example, I'm going to do Save as New. You notice it's putting it under these Gregory Ks, right? I forgot to show you that. I can put it in a group. So I created my own presets under Gregory K, right? And... If you come back over here and you look, let me close this, right here you see under Gregory K there's a test. Now there's all kinds of presets that come with this, right? Combination color, AI color, portrait that you can do. These are under my presets, but go to recommended and you could take the existing ones, say glowing, right? And then I could make some changes and then save the glowing as my own glowing modified and put it under Gregory K and save it and now I have copied their glowing preset made my adjustments that I like and I've put it under my presets right here and glowing modified is right there okay so that's how I create and use my own presets um, to uh, both do the things that I do when I shoot in studio it's a very sterile environment and the lighting doesn't change much so I know that my uh, color adjust only preset is going to be pretty close in studio every time okay um, outdoors your mileage is going to vary because you're dealing with the sun in different times of day and things like that uh, and then I have a skin retouch only preset and then I have a tether preset that just does a basic edit uh, in the in the studio and it, if, if they want to see black and white uh, while I'm tethering it will bring it up in black and white um, you can do that in other programs, but it will also retouch if I want it to. So, And they see the retouched image on the screen as, they're, as we're shooting, cleaning up the back room and everything. So that would be something like um, one of these up here that I would apply as the shots are coming in. It slows down your tethering a little bit. Keep that in mind because it's doing a bunch of edits to it while you're tethering. So you want to have a fast tethering connection. Okay, So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I've got another video coming up to show you little known tips and tricks with Avoto that maybe if you're new to Avoto, you probably didn't know. Uh, tips like that real-time color adjustments to preview just uh, skin retouching and not exposure adjustments that I showed you earlier, things like that that are little tricks. So uh, I'm going to put that video out too. If I'm not sure what order I'm going to put these out. If I did already put it out, I'm going to link it above because I'm doing several of these at the same time. So thanks for watching. Uh, give it a like. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. It really helps the video to get seen, especially when you hit that like button. Leave a comment if you have questions. All right, thanks. Have a good one.